And for eight years now I have been a captain on long distance ships. In this latest post of mine on the Karnak I succeeded my father, who had performed the duties of captain almost from the very beginning of world creation and who, after his long years of blameless service to his endlessness, was held worthy of promotion to the post of governor of the solar system, Talman. In short, continued the captain, I began my service just when your right reverence was leaving for the place of your exile I was then only a sleeper on the long distance ships of that period. Yes a long, long time has passed by. Everything has changed and has been changed since then only our Lord and Sovereign remains unchanged may the blessings of Amenzano be on his changelessness throughout eternity. Your right reverence has seen fit to remark, very justly, that the earlier ships were most inconvenient and cumbersome. They were indeed very complicated and unwieldy, I remember them well myself, there is a vast difference between the ships of that time and now. In our youth all the ships, both for inter-system and interplanetary communication, were still run on the cosmic substance, Alakilcomagdistan, which is composed of two distinct parts of the omnipresent, Okadano. And it was to produce this substance that the earlier ships had to carry such a quantity of materials. But these ships did not remain in use very long after your departure, they were replaced by ships of the system of St. Phenoma. Chapter 4. The Law of Falling. The captain continued. This happened in the year 185 by objective time calculation. Saint Phenoma had been taken for his merits from the planet, sort, to the holy planet Purgatory, where, after familiarizing himself with his new surroundings and new duties, he devoted all his free time to his favorite work. This favorite work was to try to discover what new phenomena could be obtained from various combinations of lawful phenomena already existing. Sometime later, in the course of his observations of cosmic laws, Saint Phenoma made a discovery which afterward became famous, and which he was the first to call the Law of Falling. Saint Phenoma formulated this cosmic law as follows. Everything existing in the world falls to the bottom. The bottom for any part of the universe is its nearest stability, and this stability is the point toward which all the lines of force from all directions converge. The centers of all the suns and planets of our universe are precisely such points of stability. They are the lowest points of that region of space toward which forces from all directions of the given part of the universe inexorably tend, and where they concentrate. Each of these points is also a center of gravity that enables suns and planets to maintain their proper places. Saint Phenoma stated further that when an object, wherever it may be, is dropped into space, it tends to fall on one or another sun or planet, depending on which sun or planet. This part of space belongs to that sun or planet being for the given region the stability or bottom. Follows. If this is so, 
Could not this cosmic property be utilized for the locomotion we need between the spaces and the universe? And from then on he worked along that line. His further saintly labors show that, although in principle this was possible, in fact the law of falling alone could not be employed fully to achieve this purpose, for the simple reason that the atmosphere surrounding most of the cosmic concentration would hinder the direct falling of the object dropped in space. Having established this, Saint Genoma turned his whole attention to finding some means of overcoming the atmospheric resistance to ships constructed on the principle of falling. And three, Muniuses. Later, Saint Genoma did find such a means and, as soon as a suitable vessel had been completed under his direction, he went on to practical trials. This construction had the appearance of a large chamber, the walls of which were made of a special material somewhat like glass on every wall of the chamber were fitted, so to say, shutters, made of material impervious to the rays of the cosmic substance, elekilkomagdistin, and these shutters, although set close to the walls, could slide freely in any required direction within the chamber was placed a special battery, which generated and supplied this substance elekilkomagdistin. I was praying myself, your right reverence, at the first experiments in which Saint Genoma tested the principle he had discovered. The whole secret lay in this when rays of Elikilpo. Magdison were made to pass through this special glass. They destroyed everything in their path that the atmosphere of planets is usually composed of, such as air, gases, of all kinds, fog, and so on. This part of space became absolutely empty, without resistance to pressure, so that if even an infant being gave this enormous structure a hush, it would move as lightly as a feather. On the outer side of this peculiar structure were appendages like wings, which were set in motion by this same substance elekilkomagdistin, and gave the impetus to move this immense structure in the required position. 